Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to be talking about three things that you can do every day to improve your mental health. Let's get into it. Okay, the first thing that we need to talk about is sleep. People do not get enough sleep and I'm guilty of this. Probably most of my clients are guilty of this. And when we talk about good sleep, we're talking about getting the slow wave sleep, getting the REM sleep. What this does is help us to consolidate new knowledge and skills that we've learned throughout the day. It can help stabilize our mood, help us think clearer, help us to be able to respond better throughout the day. You know, if we're not getting good sleep, it's not just that we're not getting the benefits of good sleep, but that can actively harm us if we're not getting the proper and right amount of sleep. I had a client who had a persistent depressive disorder and what happened was after a period of not sleeping for a couple of nights, whether it was just like working on projects or just not being able to sleep, he came in the next time and was talking about having hallucinations, seeing and hearing things. And what happened after he got a couple of good nights of sleep was that we haven't had any trouble with that since. So for me, that's a really strong argument that getting good sleep by getting off of our phones for a half hour to an hour before we're ready for bed, having a solid routine, going to sleep and waking up at the same time every day. Those are super important ways that we can maintain our sleep and be able to gain the benefits of that good sleep. And what happens when we sleep is that that's a way of us activating our parasympathetic nervous system. You know, during the day we're go, 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 stress and worries, going from one thing to the next. That's all activating our fight or flight, our stress levels, our sympathetic nervous system that helps us to go and gear up for action. But what happens is that that uses our resources and that's not meant to be turned on the entire day. That's taxing our resources. And what happens is that if we don't get adequate rest by activating our parasympathetic nervous system through sleep or other restful activities, our bodies don't get to build, heal, and grow. Okay, the next important thing that you can do to improve your mental health every day is to move, be active. And this is really important because people are generally very sedentary. And what we've seen is especially if it's outside movement, that exposure to sunlight can really help to regulate our circadian rhythm so that we can get the good sleep that we were talking about before, but also that movement helps to release endorphins and basically get things moving for our brains. That also helps us to be embodied. Our minds don't just exist in a vacuum, but everything is connected with our brain, our body, and our gut to affect our overall health. So it's not these three distinct categories of like gut health, mental health, and physical health, but they all interact with one another. The more that we can move, the more we improve our overall health, our brain health, and also by extension, our mental health. One final thing that we don't think of usually in terms of our mental health, but can really have a beneficial effect for us is to have healthy challenge in our life. And you know, whenever I introduce the concept of, hey, maybe we need more stress in your life, that always throws my clients off a little bit because they're thinking like, what are you talking about? Like, I already have to worry about school or about work, my kids my sports and all these activities. What are you talking about? I need more stress in my life. Everyone's talking about de-stressing, right? And so I just want to draw a distinction really quick. There are different categories. One is of distress and one is of eustress. And so the fine line is basically, if we feel like the expectations of a challenge are way beyond our capabilities, then we're going to feel distressed because we don't feel like our abilities match up with what's being asked of us. And that's what can happen with being overworked at a job or feeling like you're not catching up or able to keep up with all the assignments and exams at school. That falls into the distress category. There can also be a phenomenon where we languish where the expectations for us are so low and our capabilities are up here that our bodies actually don't respond well to that. We might think like, oh, that's the easy road. That's the easy way to go. But that can actually encourage apathy, demotivate us, and have a negative effect on our mental health. And so when I talk about eustress, seeking out challenges that match our capabilities, and you see this very often in sports or hobbies or activities that people are seeking out, things that challenge them, but in a way that's engaging and helps us to learn and to grow, that is 
beneficial for our mental health. So I think when we talk about mental health, we need to be very careful about how we talk about stress because stress is a way for us to grow and to expand our abilities and to become the fullest sense of who we are. So just to get rid of stress altogether is not actually the healthiest way for us to go about our lives, but to be able to find challenges that meet what our abilities are or encourage us to grow, to expand our abilities just a little bit at a time until we see that transformation over time. So there you have it. Those are three ways that every day we can be improving our mental health. No counselor's tricks or a psychologist or psychiatrist kind of a bag of tools or tricks. This is something that everyone can do for themselves. So I don't want this to be construed as, oh, if you do these three things, that you're never going to have mental health problems. That's not the point. But the point is that these are ways that we can provide a protective factor for ourselves, ways that we can support ourselves in being the healthiest we can be, no matter what the circumstances are. Everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you like the content, please feel free to check out more of the videos on our channel. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that we're putting out. As always, be well. Take care of yourselves, take care of the people around you. See you next time.